Hey guys, now you tell me who you think of when I say these things all together in one sentence. Old man socks. A porn star who's in the mood to sue somebody. Two and a half kilos of cocaine. Crazy man. Mmm, Brian Gumble. No! You're very close though. Charlie Sheen! Yeah, that's right, Charlie Sheen is in trouble again! Ah, oh, it's such a shocker, isn't it? I know! Charlie Sheen says he is not panicking after he had a horrible night at a Plaza Hotel where he wrecked the entire hotel room as well as trapped porn star Caprice Anderson in the bathroom and threatened her. Meanwhile, he was butt naked and running around the hotel room high as a cat. So the story starts out with he's having dinner at the Plaza Hotel with Denise Richards, his ex-wife, and porn star Caprice Anderson. Caprice Anderson and Charlie Sheen, they go up to Charlie Sheen's room. Money is exchanged, supposedly, right? But get this, this is the great part. She claims, I am not a prostitute. I don't know why the media is calling me that. Here's my version of Caprice Anderson. I'm not a prostitute. Prostitutes have sex for money. I'm a porn star. We have sex for money. See the difference? I don't know why my Caprice Anderson sounds like a Muppet, but I think it works. Charlie Sheen was mean to me. I'm gonna sue him for lots of money. Anyways, moving on. So basically, they get up to the room. Uh, some, some interaction happens with what later uh, one of the spokespersons for Charlie Sheen said it was medication. That, that was happening in the room. It was medication and that Charlie Sheen had an allergic reaction. Oh my God, that's so severe. That's so rare. Then he threatens Caprice and says, where's my wallet? You've stolen my wallet, you prostitute. I mean, porn star. Not too long after that, police show up. Now here's my favorite part of this story. And that is the police could not subdue they could not subdue Charlie Sheen. I guess they couldn't catch him and he was running around butt naked. So what they did is they got a sheet and they threw the sheet over him and caught him like a little piggy. The funniest part of the image in my mind of that actually happening, Charlie Sheen running around naked and the police catching him is I think he was still wearing the socks. <laughs> I wonder if the prostitutes know that they should charge extra if he wears the socks. They should, they should totally charge extra for that because this is him nasty. A pretty crazy story about Charlie Sheen. If you want for more information, look at the Dibbly Doo. Uh, there's more info in there down below. Click on it, and there'll be lists of links where you can uh, find out more information about Charlie Sheen and the craziness. So I think the moral of the story here is don't do drugs. I really, I think it is. I think that's the moral of the story because you know, you never know when you could have an allergic reaction. All right, guys, that's it for me on the story about Charlie Sheen. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Do you think that Charlie Sheen is just like crazy now? Do you think that he can recover? Do you think he should go to rehab? Should he not go to rehab? Oh, ah! There's so many questions. What do you think of Two and a Half Men, the show? Do you like it? Do you think it's really funny still? Do you think it sucks? Do you think he's getting overpaid? Do you think he's getting underpaid? Ah, there's so many questions. All right, tell me all about it in the comments. Boom, right there. And I would love to hear from you. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Cool. Cool.